Hey guys, this is Andrew Aversa with Impact Soundworks, and today I'm going to show you another free update that we're doing. Uh, this one is a new plugin called Revalver HPSE created by PV exclusively for shreddage. So let's check it out. Uh, first, I'm gonna open up Contacts. So basically, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to uh, shreddagex master multi.nkm. This is if you have shreddagex. If you still have the original, you would load up one of the uh, quick play multis. So we'll go ahead and drag that in. And now we'll test to see if we're getting any output at all first. Here's the power chords. Sounds good. And then in the right hand, we have the sustains. Okay, sounds good. But as you can hear, it's clean and it's mono. So the next thing we're gonna do is configure those outputs so we get the true double track sound. Now, if you notice in the list of patches, you have a DT copy of each patch. And under output, you'll see uh, some are ST1, which means stereo one, and some are ST2, which is stereo two. So you wanna open up contacts outputs. And down here with the latest version of contact four, you'll see that you can configure where those outputs are going. Uh, stereo one is going to plug in outs one and two. Stereo two is not going anywhere. So we'll take that and send it to plug in outs three and four. So now if we play, oh, also uh, you should reopen the plugin to um, save your changes and make this default, but for now we don't need to do that. Okay, so it's all configured, but it's extremely phasey. And that's because we have both audio tracks going out of contact, but they're not panned. Step two, you need to configure your host to accept a multi timbral output from a plugin. In FL Studio, you do this by going to the plugin wrapper, processing, and then auto mapping your outputs. Uh, other hosts do similar things. They have either an auto map function or some sort of multi timbral plugin checkbox. But basically, you need to set that up before contact can even um, send those out to different channels. So now I'm going to set contact to channel uh, one is good. We'll open up the host mixer to see we have signal in channel one and two. So the next step for double tracking is just to pan these hard left and right. Okay, now we have the double track sound. Those are different recordings in both the left and the right channels. That's true double tracking, but now we need to amp it up. And this is where our new plugin comes in, Revalver HPSE. I already have the plugin installed. Uh, all shredded users are gonna get this absolutely free. Members will get it for free. Uh, so you'll be able to just install it like you would any other plugin. It's 32 and 64 bit, Windows, Mac, VST, AU. It's got everything. So. Um, I've put this on one channel and we're going to go factory presets and select something like 3120 gain. Let's check that out. Okay, sounds good, but that's only in one channel. So if you go to the next mixer track on your host, load another copy over. This time let's try a uh, solo 3120 and see what we got. And there you have it. That's basically how to get a very fast double track sound using HPSC. But let's take a closer look before I finish up the video. Um, in this plugin, we have a whole bunch of different modules. So we can go to uh, replace this module. You have stomp boxes, compressors, chorus, wah, phasing, delay, uh, and then basically a simple um, solid state distortion stomp box. Now we've got two excellent amp models here, and while they definitely sound great on their own, uh, one big thing that PV is doing is they're enabling HPSC users to upgrade to more full versions of Revalver at a big discount. So for example, HPSC has these two amps. If you go up to Revalver HP, you're gonna get four more amps plus more power amps, 
11 effects, 10 stomp boxes, and so on. And that's normally $100, you're getting it for only $30. Now you can go up to Mark 3.5, which is the flagship Revalver plugin, normally $300 in stores, but you can get it for only $200 if you have HPSE. And that has 20 amps, 12 preamps, nine power amps, 21 stomp boxes, and over 700 speaker sims. So check that stuff out at pv.com. Now, in addition to the factory presets, we also have a custom set of shreddage presets, which we designed. The factory presets were designed by PV. So if we go back to the first channel revolver, let's go to the shreddage presets, load up thick riff, just as an example. Then the second channel, shreddage presets, let's try heavy chug and see what that sounds like. <laughs> Why don't we try that with a little bit of legato? Switch that to portamento mode. Very nice. The last thing I'm gonna show is a little technique I use. It's really nothing uh, too special, but if you have your two double-tracked outputs here, try bussing them in your host to a third channel. Um, again, this depends on what host you're using. In FL, it's a simple matter of just changing the track send. So normally this sends to the master channel. I turn that off and sent it instead to insert three. Now, if you have an EQ on the third channel, you can process both plugins at the same time. So that's very helpful because this way you can EQ both channels at the same time without wasting CPU on running uh, basically an identical EQ on each channel. So anyway, there you go. That's Revalver HPSE and double tracking with Shreddage and Shreddage X. Once again, this is gonna go out to all customers very shortly. And we just wanna thank PV for making this available to us and for all our users. So please enjoy. And as always, we'd love to hear from you. Later. Later.